but if I should do this specifically, yes, a girl of a lot of friends, that's not going to work out. <laughs> Welcome back to Everything D and today we will be doing a question and answer session. You sent the question that, questions that I asked you to and I'm answering them. So let's start. So basically I'll be looking down often because the information is on the computer, right? So that's where I'm reading from. I got some questions from Instagram. Instagram, 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 what's up? Just came from the dentist, got my teeth clean. Instagram, 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 what's up? Just left the dentist, got my teeth clean, got examination on my gums. They say they healed properly. Thank you. Yeah, some of the questions came from Instagram and then some of them came from WhatsApp. So I'll be reading from both places. So where do you see yourself in the next three years? Three years is not really long term to me. It's, it's a very short period, right? And... I feel as though the things that I'm currently involved in, I will just be better at those things in the next three years. I'll be extremely better because I would have had three years experience, right? So in my profession, plus my YouTube journey, among other things, I'll be doing extremely great. I know it. What is your biggest challenge in life? My biggest challenge, time management. I know that. I, I'm trying to work on it. I'm working on it. Time management, procrastination, it's eating me alive. And I'm glad that I realize my problem and I am working on it. That's the issue. Some of us know that we're having a downfall and we, we try not to highlight what the problem is. It's good to highlight the problem so you know where you're working from and what you're working on. Next question, what keeps you going? What keeps me going? Oh my God. Um, I'm somebody that is not um, extrinsically motivated. Therefore, it doesn't take much for me. For me, it's just understanding that nothing lasts forever. One, two, it is just knowing that, listen, joy is going to come. This must end. Whatever, it's, whatever is happening, yeah. And that just keeps me pushing. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Oh, I want to say so. Favorite YouTuber? I have a lot. Daniel E, Tananio, Quiet Perry, Rushlin, Rushcam, Petit, Shami. They, oh my God. And I, I have not even started looking at international YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTubers. I watch a lot of them and it's extremely hard to choose. And I am sorry, but I cannot choose a favorite. If you had the chance to collab with a YouTuber, who would it be? To be honest, I wasn't like thinking heavily on that about like collab. I do have long term visions for the channel, and I know eventually I'm going to collab with a, a lot of persons. But um, to think about a dream collab, I don't think I can put my hands on that. But all right, to so highlight two from the bunch. I would say I would go with Daniel and I'd go with Tanania too. I like those two. I like all the channels, but I am saying as I look forward to all the videos every week for everybody. There's Gypsy, there's Sick, there's a lot of persons. But let me just highlight those two. Let me just highlight those two. If I must, I'm highlighting those two. All right. How do you stay motivated? I think that is similar to how I keep going. So how I stay motivated? I think that question would have been answered already. Most, embar most embarrassing moments. When I got this question, when I looked at it for the first time, I was like, what is my... I know I have a lot of embarrassing moments, but I just couldn't come up with one. The only thing that came to me that I can highlight as the most embarrassing is that one time that I fell at school... I was in about grade 7 or 8. I was on the junior campus. So for those who went to St. Catherine High School, you know, they have a little ramp thing at the grade 7 block. And yeah, that's where I fell. And it was terrible. And the person that sent me this question, they were laughing so hard. So hard. And I didn't even remember it until today. 
a day you'll never forget december 30 2013 the day my mother passed it was <laughs> i'll never forget that day and next question what do you look forward to the most on this youtube journey what do i look forward to the most i believe to the community um i'm already getting nice little messages on instagram and i believe that is just super um heartwarming and all of that and i look forward to the channel growing so i look forward to more of those messages and in addition to that i look forward to giving you guys good content and that is why i find it very important at the inspirational aspect that i have for this channel because i believe there is no um there is not too much encouragement that you can give somebody always always needs to hear it so yeah so that's what i look forward to the most impacting person's lives positively yeah what do you love most about all your friends when i saw this i was thinking do i do this specifically or collectively but if i should do this specifically yes a girl i have a lot of friends that's not going to work out this video would not end for now um collectively like i said before in the previous videos video it's one video all right in previous video my friends and i all of us personally people always ask how are you guys friends i just can't understand i can't see the similarity i just don't understand but at the end of the day if i should look for something among all of us it's just the loyalty and the support for me it's the loyalty and the support for me trust me i can look forward to that from all my friends when are you getting married to give me my nieces and my neighbor girl I want to be an aunt. You go and have the children. You go and have them. You're too free free. Alright, what is something you always wanted to pursue but have not gotten the chance to do say it? When I saw there's a lot of things that I want to pursue that I have not gotten the chance to do say it, but they're more likely long term goals that I wish not to highlight. No. But some weeks ago, if I heard this question, it would definitely be creating my own YouTube channel. So that is definitely a part of it. But I am living that dream now. So I guess I don't have an answer for that question right now. Is there anything you would change about where you are in life? Nothing. I wouldn't change anything because for one, I believe that everything happens for a reason. And I appreciate where I am. Not saying everything is all perfect and good and all of that. But... I appreciate where I am. Things that are not going so good will get better. And I'm an optimist, you know, and you'll realize as I go along. So things will get better if they're not going so good. And for the things that are going so good, thanks be to God. And we'll try to allow them to stay that way. Mm -hmm. All right. What are you most passionate about? I am only thinking of two things. Education, creativity. Creativity in the sense of anything artsy and hands-on i've always liked that so that would have been two things that i am passionate about i can't think of which most which one i prefer the most okay next question what in inspires you the most inspiration there's a lot of things a lot of things but the one that came to me first is the one that i'm going to highlight person's life story i love to hear it I lo and that is why I, I like Yendi's program too because the life stories I love to hear because I believe that you can gain so much from listening to somebody else's life story. Not that you want to walk in that same path or in the same line, but there's something that is relating to some aspect of your life, right? And one of the things I always realize is it will show you two things. Let me highlight two. It will show you that there's a lot of things in life that you are pushing to attain now and it's not happening and you feel as though time is running out and then there are some persons that show you that listen i am i am this um age now and this is just happening and it has been a dream and don't ever give up on it because time is not running out on you just keep pushing and do what you have to do and have faith and then there's another thing to show you that listen 
there's a lot of goals that you put for long-term goals that really can be attained in a short period of time it just takes consistency and focus because there's a lot of persons that believe that oh when i'm 30 is when i'm going to be able to attain that or whatever but if they just take the time out to literally have faith stay pushing prioritize some of those things and that is why you look at persons that person is 21 and be like they have this or that person is 25 and listen you could have done it too sis if you just put your head in the game trust me um what is something you hope to accomplish in the near future near future i'm thinking about something materialistic that i don't have and i'm thinking about a house a house is something that i'd like to uh, hope to have in the near 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 future near future that's it for me the house the house sister all right another question what would you consider to be the biggest hurdle in life in accomplishing your goals sis child that would have to be time management right about now i'm still all a drop oh, may i drop i can't even jump over the hurdle there i am not yet over that hurdle but i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying what is the worst thing that ever happened to you in life and how did you overcome it or cope um the passing of my mother i said it earlier um i don't think it is in my perspective i don't think it is something that you can ever overcome and how i cope with it as my friends would always say i hide emotions very well and i don't think it's me trying to hide emotion emotions but i'm just not a emotional person that is just not me so that also helps me to like keep myself very occupied and stay away from it and i don't really think about it but i do realize that it is something that maybe i need to put more attention on because i know that whenever that moment is revisited by myself it is still a fresh wound it's i am seven years in and trust me sometimes thinking about it it feels like it just happened yesterday so maybe i really matter of fact maybe that should be something that i speak on lost losing somebody that is close to you and if you'd like to hear that comment down below so the next question what would you like to be when you grow listen i would what do i like to be when i grow up i would already like to think that i'm grown ish and the profession that i would uh, always dwell on saying this is what i want to be i think i don't think i know i am a part of that profession now that is my profession now and i'm super grateful that i got the chance to follow that dream um, some of the questions i know some persons are not seeing their questions here and they're not getting answered because some of those questions i just had to leave them where they were some of them just have to stay over there. Some of them repeat. So if you hear me say your question, not exactly how you sent it, but it is still answered in some way or the other. But I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Ding! And see you in the next video. Bye, world!